I loved the big school atmosphere. I loved, um, I love football. It's just something like, it's something I felt like I had to do. West Virginia University told me not to come here. The Office of Accessibility were initially the ones that said um, it's not easy that you should consider getting a power chair. When I did end up coming here, about three months into my freshman year, I packed my bags and I was ready to go home because I was like, wow, they're right, I can't do this. At the time, there was another gentleman here in a wheelchair. He kind of said, like, you know, it's not easy. It's not, but like, if you really want to stay, like, you can make it work. I got elected to the student government last year. I ran on a platform of campus accessibility, promising students that I would do everything in my power to make this campus more um, accessible for students with disabilities. The first task I took on last year was actually the football stadium. One of the biggest problems I had freshman year was the fact that football was like a good chunk of the reason why I came here. Currently, there is no ADA seating in the student section of the football stadium. What I learned the first game that I went to was that there was no way for me to sit in the student section, and that literally broke my heart. We passed a resolution at SGA. So they're going to be taking out two box seats um, in the lower section near the student section and putting ADA seating. This would be a spot for students with crutches. Um, this would be a spot for students that might be overweight, that can't climb the stairs. This would be a spot for students with heart conditions. Because there's a whole range of issues that make it difficult for students to go up huge flights of stairs or down huge flights of stairs. I guess if I could leave a legacy here at W, it would be starting the conversation. It would be educating faculty, staff, students on how to interact with people with disabilities. I'm almost glad in a way that I'm here and that this happened to me because now I can make a difference. I can be the voice for people that can't speak for themselves. We're a family, we're a big Mountaineer family and if there's anything that I could leave this university with is if you make the changes, the students will come.